failure. Well, I'm no scientist or anything, but yeah, social media can definitely be a stressor, especially when it's like one of your main avenues for social interaction, I feel like. Yeah, that and like, you know, your only, you know, source of income and becoming, you know, it became the only way I ate and things, you know? Well, I mean, all types of, all ways that you kind of try to find some means of income are going to have a, like a double-edged sword. I mean, even if you were to go work at McDonald's or something, you still got to show up, deal with shitheads and people, and you're probably not doing something like interesting. It's very monotonous, samey, samey job every single day. There's a well, double-edged sword to everything. And if you're, I guess, avenue for revenue is going to be social media. You, you, I mean, by now, you know, um, the internet's fucked up sometimes. Oh, yeah, it, it is. And, you know, you gotta grow tough skin to be on it. Well, what's the plan for the rest of the day? It's Halloween. I don't got shit planned. We're going to bed, you know? I don't know. I got them little Tootsie, flavored Tootsie Rolls at the store, and I can't find one I can do it. All the ones with, the, like, the, the blue wrapper, orange wrapper and stuff, those are good as fuck. Yeah. Like, the red's my favorite, and I, like, can't... I don't know what the fuck, where I sat them down. Yeah, just throw all the lemon ones away. Nobody wants those. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I guess it sucks. I really don't know what I. Uh, Jay in chat says, "Why do these always turn into into the who can kiss Lisa's ass the hardest competition? What should we do? Just shit on her as hard as possible." <laughs> hey, let's shit on an internet person more. That sounds fucking fun. They literally do it all day, every single day. It's just shit on Lisa. I think you're, like, one of the first people that have been genuine and, like, you're, as, you're like a brush, a breath of fresh air. I'm so serious. I wouldn't even want to knock you down if I had to. Like, I was just about to unmute and be like, where do you have these questions, like, written down, like, for you to ask Lisa, like, or did you, are you thinking of them off the top of your head? Well, like, yeah, like, generally, if I ask anybody a question, I guess I've gotten in the habit of just kind of, like, listening what they say. And generally, if you listen to people long enough, they're going to talk about things that they care about or that are really an issue in their life. And you just, you can learn a lot by asking questions. No, yeah, you definitely can. I don't know where Lisa went. So, I guess she'll be back. I understand the sentiment of chat right now. It's like, hey, you got to pick your up, so yourself up by your bootstraps. Look at me. I'm a fucking hardworking this and that. And all you guys are doing is trying to suck your own dicks and feel good about yourself. If you want a mirror to jack off to, I mean, go for it. But, I mean, just shitting on other people is just, like, it's weird, man. I honestly don't even read the chat because they are just a waste of time reading them i'm so dead ass like nothing they say bothers me and I, it's like more like out of sight out of mind for me so if i'm not sitting there reading it then i'm not sitting here thinking about it you know so i let them say whatever they want and imagine like sitting there typing Oh, you muted for a second. But I don't know, man. Uh, people are shitting on me right now for talking, I guess. But um, it could be worse. I could be in Discord not saying anything I'm and back. typing. Let and me wasting get outside Halloween. and fix this speaker. You're good. Imagine, imagine somebody taking the time out of their day to write messages over and over again, thinking that 
Kim's going to read this and it's going to ruin her day. I think that's what it is. They, they want to be meaningful. They want to have made their mark and know they had an effect. I've seen the similar thing with like 10 year olds when they try to like break a window and they're like, oh shit, that, that happened. I changed the world around me. Yeah. But the thing is, is like, and like on my end, <clears throat> I'm not even like thinking about reading them and i've never even like i don't take my time and scroll through discord to see what people say about me so they literally probably spend an hour coming up with something to say and then think that i'm gonna read it when in reality i don't really even give a fuck i genuinely don't read the chat because i always go by this saying out of sight out of mind if i'm not Reading it or watching it, then I'm not thinking about it. I got better things to do. So, yeah, I was wondering where you went, Lisa. And of course, they're gonna fucking nag on you right now because you're being nice. Like, God forbid anyone is nice to Lisa or anyone is genuine and asks uh, her a question. You're not allowed to do that. You're not allowed to act like that. Now you get attacked, unfortunately, but. So I wouldn't even open the chat. I wouldn't even read it. Just let them waste their time and spend time with each other talking shit about nothing. No, I don't I ever. I, I like their company. Or read it. You know that. But it's a mental health thing. I used to do it, right? And I had to just stop myself, you know? They're going to target you because you rattle a lot easier than me. You know what I mean? Because I've been it's doing it. It's fine. Like it's fine. It really is. I'm not. I don't mind. Oh, knocking Futs has joined the stage. What's the name? Uh, knocking knocking Futs. So backwards, the first, um, the first letter of each word, you're supposed to flip it. If I put it's this fucking on people, nuts, um, but it's you know, knocking fucks. I don't have an echo it? or anything. To or did that go over your head? <laughs> Probably went over your head. Me? What's up, Rita? Yeah, I'm talking to you the whole time. I'm trying to explain her name. Are you listening? Yeah, I'm listening. I just ain't comprehending but Oh, wait. Her name is Knucking Fuck. Do you take the F and put it where the N is? And then the N where the F is? What That's what I, say? I thought. Yeah, you I were so helpful. You were such a good yeah. friend. Being so right. helpful. Uh, I don't know if she... Out. Oh, I think um I have to unmute her, so hold on. No, I can hear her. I can I hear can... her. You can't hear her? Well... I said I had to unmute, so I unmuted, but now they have the chance to talk. Now I can't hear her. Can you hear I hear some background noise of some kind. I hear, I hear you now. Now I hear her. I wasn't really speaking. I was listening. Okay. It was green. So what's up? Show no. down. Not going to say that. <sighs> Just got back from trick-or-treating. How did that go? He ate a lot of candy. Not really. He had a, a panic attack and we had to leave. Oh, that was actually, you know, his answer too. When I said you get a lot. Not really. I wonder what was up with that this year. Oh, you know, a lot of people said that. Like, not really. Yeah. So I, I got it. I got interrupted earlier. I was in the, pro I was trying to get into the box for a good minute. Uh, earlier when I was getting ready to before trick or treat and then I finally got put up and then I was inbound. I didn't mean to be rude with anybody and cut anybody off. But um man, this seems like a deja vu, Lisa. I I feel you. Wait, why deja vu? What's going on? Who are you? I'm Scribbles. Yeah, just some are you new help? here? Are you new? Yeah, yeah I'm pretty new. He's okay, a, you've been around for a little yeah. while. Kim, I joined quiet. the server today, but I've Kim. seen the streams for a couple of months. Now, are you new to um, this saga? 
Are you new to Lisa? Are yeah, you new to I, Kim? Jen, I would have Lisa on and then just have my my earbuds in and that's it. He said a couple, okay. couple months he's been watching. Yeah. So, not brand new, but new, yeah. Like, if anyone wants to share the lore right now in VC, I'm happy to listen. What would you say? The Like, the story. Mm. Which version do you want? Yeah. The honest version. Checking. And she's the one for that. Tech's very honest and blunt. But that's why I love her. Wait, quick question. What's the deal with all these people with the same like default profile pics? They don't know how to change it or what's going on? I don't I think that's like the go to, you know, there's a couple you can pick from, so when you you know, if you don't put your own up. Oh, okay. So yeah, that just kinda hmm. I don't think anyone in chat has ever struggled with addiction or anything like that. They're all stupid. So she just dropped? Didn't have anything to say? No, I think I saw her mute, so she may have been having like trouble. You know, if she comes back in, let her back. Wait, people are telling me to go into the chit chat channel? Where is that? <laughs> into the chat. The by the red button, they're gonna, you know. I wouldn't just, just don't let a lot of people influence you. Just make your own opinion based on, like, what you learn about us. You know what I'm saying? So, Lisa, tech just came up, and you mentioned earlier that you're ready to go to rehab. Don't you think that now would have been a chance to say something to her? No, no, no. I, I have a text number. Everything doesn't have to be a public display of entertainment for your viewing well, pleasure. Yeah, Kim, you didn't have to no. say it. Kim, I agree. All you, all you could do is say, you know, hey, I'm ready. And she would know exactly what you're talking about. Um, scrambles. Uh, you said you wanted, like, a little history. Uh, so, yeah, sure. Um. Obviously, Lisa is struggling in active addiction, and she has begged for money on the app for a long time. She used her children, her parents, you know, saying her child had cancer and was going to die. Um, what else? Saying that her father had passed away and she needed money. Um, a lot of people feel bad and guilty when they see her because they see her and themselves, right? Um, especially if they were struggling with addictions. Um, and they would donate to her thinking it was for a ride, for food. Um, you know, things that she was asking for, which it wasn't. It was obviously, you know, to get her high. Um, she also said she had a daughter that got murdered, which that daughter didn't even exist. And I know people do stupid stuff during active addiction. And so... But you asked for a little bit of a history, and that's the history. I think a lot of people would have respected Lisa a lot more if she just would have came out and said, hey, I want to go get high. I don't want to be sick. You know? I think that would have been a different story. But people I have can't help but think that, like, with someone struggling with addiction and they see an avenue for them to, to get high or have that, you know, that little hit, I mean... I could imagine people saying some pretty wild things because your addiction's taking over your way of thinking. And that's exactly what happened. And that's and continues to happen. Yeah, but um, then you're trying to turn around and ask her to apologize with some sem semblance of rationality when she's still struggling with the addiction. So it's, I don't know. No, I, I'm not. I, I mean, she can do what she wants, obviously, right? And she does. She's a grown woman. But people are asking for her to take accountability, like raising money, getting paid for her dog that had been taken away from her and she continued to use that dog afterwards. And people just want to hear her speak the truth. They want to hear her actually acknowledge the truth. They all know the truth. And you know, when she constantly saying she's going to go to rehab and raising money and getting deliveries to her house for stuff, um, 
you know, it just continues. So like you said, you're just here, you know, for a couple months. We've had these calls before, maybe not in Discord. We've had these conversations, maybe not in Discord, but this is just another cycle. Misa, can you clarify the, who, who said that? Wait, I'm, I do want to apologize. I do have to head out. Some shit just came up. I might be back if you guys are, yeah, if you guys are live. And open. Like back up. Guys, have a good night. All right, until next time, guys. Bye, Thank chat. you. Bye. Lisa, can you just verify that um, who she was just referring to about raising the money for you to go to rehab and why not? What do you who, mean? Who was it? What is, who was not... raising the money for rehab? Is that what who, you're asking? Yeah, no, like who was doing everything that she just said? I'm not understanding. Okay, never mind. Just forget it. You're not, she's saying that you should tell everybody that Kim was doing that, right, Kim? Is that what you're trying to say? No, I'm asking her to clarify who was the one that said that they were trying to raise money for her to go to a private facility. What person was trying to do that? Somebody was doing that? Like yeah, the, I don't know. Like the private pay bullshit? Yes. Um, move on. I'm not sure exactly what. Hey, Kim, will you let Tech back up? I think um, she got dropped by accident, but she's down there. Do you want to let her back up so she can say what she was going to say? You guys there? Yeah, I'm here. I'm still here. Oh, so can you add tech back up? Yeah, she, I see her. I, I don't know how to do it, like add yeah, anybody or anything. I'm here. Okay, okay. So I'm going to drop out. Thank you, uh, ladies. <clears throat> I know you guys see me down in the chat. I know other, uh, I, I think, uh, Kim, Kim, I really don't know you. I really don't. I know of you, but, um... Lisa, I mean, she ain't, I don't think you're any kind of friend of hers. Kim, I really don't. Um, I think that you um, were in the same game and in the same boat. And I, I just, I don't understand. Uh, here, here's a scenario. When I was in active addiction, I seen my friend dope sick and I didn't know what it was. I really, I was a crackhead. I didn't, I didn't do the other. So when I'm sitting there and I'm watching this girl going through, you know, through dope sick, I was like, what, 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 what do you want me to do? I went out and I hit a lick to get the girl right. Mm -hmm. I would never do that for anybody in recovery, if, well, now that I'm in recovery. You know why? Because that could have taken her out. And I, in, my, in, in my addiction, I was just trying to help a friend not be sick no more. But in no. recovery, I've learned that we've got to go through this shit. To get through this shit. And, um, hmm. you helping her with money, what was your, what was your motivation there? What was your motivation? What'd you get out of it? Are you there or you want? I think, I think you're entitled to your opinion. I appreciate, you know, you sharing how you feel about the situation. And I don't think it's any of your business of what I do or why I give her money. Oh, true that. True that. But, uh, man. Well, at least my shit ain't never changed. I know. I'm just saying the same thing over and over again. Things are going to keep getting worse. They're going to get worse. And you know, I thought they were going to be worse when, uh, when, when, when your boy left. I, I thought maybe there would be a turn, and there wasn't. And then once I seen that there wasn't, that's when I start. I started to feel um, my own shit. 
and how how I, I felt. I'm gonna read you something real quick. It's a let. It's a letter uh, from uh, to my to my dear family. I am an addict in the grip of a compulsion in equal parts mental and physical. Please try to understand that I suffer from a disease. I appreciate your attempts to help me get clean. Though I may not always have welcomed them, you argued with me, you tried to bribe me, you threatened me, but your efforts have been ineffective because they were based on the false belief that I have the power to stop my ug use. I keep thinking I'm on TikTok. Yeah. The scolding, the scolding is actually counterproductive because it makes me feel even more ashamed and guilt than I already do. Please realize that my addiction thrives in guilt and shame. Though I know it is it, it is hard to understand the fact that it. Oh wait, I lost my train. Of th lost my fucking place. That's okay. I made promises that I could stop, but I never kept them promises. Many times, I sim I simply telling you what you wanted to hear to get you off my back. It mm -hmm. is also true, though, that many times I really meant. To keep my promises. Do you know how many promises I broke? Do you know how many times I said I was going to go to rehab? And you know why I said it? To shut everybody the fuck up. Yeah, That's uh -huh. why I told him I was going to rehab. To shut everybody the fuck up. Yeah, 100%. You know. What are you Push doing every, here? What, Push what Push is this? This is, your, this is your interview, your Q&As that you used to do on TikTok. It's on Discord. You know it's still being streamed on TikTok, probably, right? Yeah, I'm sure a bunch of places, yeah. March! March! You were going to rehab. I told you in March, if, you, if they don't come and get your kid, he's going to walk out. And he, and he, and they, and he, and he in May, when, when was that, May? Yeah, end of May. You know, one of the one of the, the saddest things I heard you say, I got 17 months to get myself together. What's that? What happens after them 17 months, Lisa? Uh, I lose my rights to him forever. And listen, a lot of people were telling, saying, and I hate I hate to hearing that you don't care because I know you do. I know you do. I do. But is it going to take ACJ? Because you don't want to fucking go there. You do not want to fucking go there. Oh, nobody you, does. You better. You, you'd be better off going to fucking rehab. And you keep saying it, and you keep saying I'm going to go, and you're going to go ahead and say I'm going to go in a week. You're not going to go in a week. You need to go now. Downtown. That door's open 24-7. You said gateway, right? Because that's the one my no, no, there's 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 Gateway. That's a rehab. You got you got White Deer Run. You got mm -hmm. Greenbrier. You got um, this. This isn't an act. This is to get you through the door to where if the bed ain't available, they will keep you safe haven and they will get you in a rehab. If you if you wait if you get at one o'clock in the morning if you say I I can't do this no more, you can walk through them doors and say I don't want to do this no more, and boom, they keep you safe. And not using, and then it gets you where you need to go. Beds are available. Yeah, uh, they absolutely are. And you keep. And how did you go? What was your when original? If you don't mind me asking, what was your original dose? And you're down to eighty now. When did mm -hmm. that happen? Mm -hmm. you, wasn't you like pretty high up there? Not crazy high. I thought you was at like 120. I was at 120. So how when, how how you been going? How did you go from 120 down to 180? You've been was, I don't. That was a pretty quick to go down to 80. Then you should be good to go to any rehab. When I transferred clinics, for some reason this one had more of a problem with the benzos. That's in a in a hole, right? And. They just don't accept people that high on that kind of dose with a prescription, even if it's legal. Right, yeah, well, they're not going to want you on your benzos neither. How do I feel about the benzos? No, you, you hate the benzo thing. And I, what is, I, what, there's a solution for that, though, right? Because I know you're afraid to get off the benzos because of your mental health. There is a non-benzo for mental health. 
It's a whole slew of medication that is non-addictive for mental health. Yeah. And once once you get clean and once you start working on stuff, a lot of them anxieties are going to start clearing up. Because so, a lot of it is addiction. I bring, and yeah, a lot of it I bring on, like, myself. But, yeah. So you're, you're on a clock, man. I Look, I... I, I scream I, and look, I, I, I yelled at my baby mama for two years to stop her run. She was on she was a federal federal fugitive. I said the longer you run, the harder it is when you come back. Mm. But um I know where you're at because I was there. I remember saying that everybody else is better off where they're at. I'm only fucking myself up. Yeah, but yeah. um your TikTok shit days are, I, I, you know, people giving you money. You said earlier, listen, you said earlier that addicts are giving you money. What addicts giving you money? No, what I said was, you know, just through this whole process, it was either people, you know, that would send five, ten bucks to like the cash. Yeah, some of them would write, you know, um, I'm a recovered addict. Like, I, I feel you. Like, I feel you. You know what I mean? Or whatever. But, yeah. I was just making the point that it's either one side or the other. They either come down the worst on me, you know what I mean? Or they are the ones that have the sympathy for the situation, right? Yeah, well, I, 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 look, I don't have sympathy for your situation. I, I have empathy for it. I don't believe you, but I believe in you. And um, I don't like Kim. Why? Because I don't. Because um, I, I because um, Sharon is shit. Um, because she's been trying to be your friend for who knows how long, stalking the fuck out of you, and you want to her the time of day. So and then who she doesn't the like me because to? I'm your friend. Who the fuck are you talking? Are you talking to me? Yeah. Are you talking to me when I say 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 it clearly? Would you say? I said you've been stalking the fuck out of her for who knows how long, trying Stalk to be me. her friend. I think that's you missing. Oh, that's stalk really her. Crazy. You that's went to a methadone clinic and recorded a phone call with her father. You who did? You have been trying how you're long not, to I be her friend. Get your stories right. That was and not that's why you don't like me. Because she's my friend. You don't even know who you're talking to. You're high as a kite. That was yeah. not tech. That was Carmen. You don't even know who you're talking to. That was Carmen. That's Jesus that. Christ. Sorry, Car tech. I don't mean to interrupt, but oh, you're Kim, you don't even know who the fuck you're talking about. You are so high as a kite right now. You're just spitting Go bullshit. To bed. Go to bed. She thinks you're Carmen. She misconstrued who you are. I'm sorry. Yeah, well, I sure in the fuck ain't Carmen because I snapped the fuck out when Carmen did that shit. Yes, hey, you did. I thought you were. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, she thought you were Carmen, all the shit. Right. Yeah, you're right. No, I dead ass thought that that just who you were. I don't. Yeah, I was like, wait, did when did that happen? Because I'm like, the ma like she did when Lisa, I was locked up. Is Carmen I'm not stalk Lisa? Does she no, not? I did. I'm not she Carmen. Did. I'm I know, but I'm just saying in general, does she not? That's why I thought I just thought that you were Carmen. That's just what I'm saying. I don't know. Yeah, it's that's the wrong um wrong person, but C Carmen, I haven't heard heard of heard from in a while. I'm not exactly sure what's going on with that, but yes, that absolutely was a very bizarre situation. Yeah, I'm very, I'm very close. I'm I'm 40 minutes from Lisa. I could have gone. I, matter matter of fact, I went up there one time to see her, and uh, yeah. I wouldn't come unannounced. But I never really even asked about the situation either. I just heard stories, so I just kind of got the two confused, I guess. Well, I'm tech. I'm tech. I'm a mm -hmm. recovering addict. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think, um, you know, it's ever, she just, she thought you were Carmen. Okay, I get where that hostility was coming. Sorry, that, that, that was a trigger response right there is what you got. Yeah, well, of course, in that same, you know, on, you know, her defense, because she, I was just like, why is she being like that with tech? But I see now why she got the two situations confused. Yeah, definitely not Carmen. Um, no, I know. <laughs> um, I, um, whew. 
Because I you did come down here right when I was three or two, right, with my sister. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I was coming up to visit you. I brought. Yeah. I was giving you a book, and they didn't let you or something, right? Because I think only Ronnie came up, if I'm not mistaken. No, you um you got signed out, and then um I uh, uh got a got a hold of your uh, family member and said that I'm still up here. I can meet up anywhere. And I stayed up there until 6 o'clock. And then that's after that's when I seen the video, you and your sister and you in the back seat. They didn't even tell me you were up here. Yeah. I went and visited my sponsor instead. And, I uh, and she showed me all kind of resources. She got work and all kind of stuff up there in that city. Yeah. I mean, there's pages and pages of stuff if you want if you want. And can work the resources, right? There's, you know, pages and pages. Okay, well, I mean, that's why I keep said telling people I do prayer hands. Prayers only, no money. Lisa, oh, man. Um, I keep telling people to stop feeding. They're not feeding you. They're feeding an addiction. Yeah, I haven't. That's why I haven't. I haven't been trying to ask for anything at all, you know? Well, I mean, you're probably asking it on a back end. Look, I, I just told a story tonight. I had a sponsee who fell off. She uh, stopped calling. I knew she fell off soon. But soon, a couple of days after she stopped calling, I knew that something was up because she called every day. Then she would ignore my calls because she knew what she, she knew. As soon as I heard her voice, I knew she was high. As soon as I heard her voice, I knew she was high. So yeah. I ain't hear from her for months, months, months. Finally, she calls me up, said she's hungry. I said, well, rehab. I said, I ain't feed. I'm not feeding you. So, called me up the next day, hungry. I, I got my hotel paid. I'm really hungry. I called my sponsor, called my Wii. They all told me not to, but I went ahead and bought her a pizza. Yeah, it's hard to hear. Me and hounded me and hounded me and hounded me. I was polite the first two times, and then I let her fucking have it the third. Yeah, so, I'm working on the back end. Don't don't sit here and act like uh, I'm a big dummy. I I asked for ten dollars yesterday from two people to get snugs. I haven't actually worked anybody on the back end to be honest. Okay, well, um, you why aren't you going and filling out an application if you're not going to go to rehab? And what what are okay? Here's a, here's a real fucking hard question for you, and then mm -hmm. I'm probably going to go after this because I don't want to feel like I'm getting mean with you. What have you worked on your plan, your family plan? Nothing. So Nothing. what the fuck are you doing on TikTok then? I, I, sh I shouldn't be. I said that when there was yeah. 30 people. I said yeah. I I'm, I'm going to keep reminding you of that. So don't be hating on me. One day you'll fucking I'm, thank me. Start I'm working not, that plan. Call your caseworker. Do something different. Hey, Jack, before you go, I want to ask Lisa this question before Kim drops me again. Lisa. Text right here. She's offered you two or three different solutions for tonight for you to get help tonight to start this process so you can be with your children again, be with your grandchildren, help you and your family. She's offered you like there's there's it's there. You know, it's there. You could get there tonight. We, are you going to take any of these or are you going to just go with what you have set up and then you give, give yourself an out? You can go now. And if you want, if you really want to go to rehab, look, you'd walk across town right now for, for, for your, for, to get dope, to get crack, whatever. You would walk across town right now. Okay. You have the chance to go and get clean right this second to fix it all, to fix it all, to make yourself better. Cause you're, you don't get help. You're going to die. All right. And, and I'm not saying that to be an asshole. I've never, never once told you to OD or any of that shit. This is the time you've got, you've got it, right? This is it. You can go. Tech will help you. I'm nowhere near you or I would help you, but you can go. Are you going to do it? Jails, institutions, and, or death, them are our bitter ends. You are at your bitter ends. I, I know. I had to go to one. I had to go to one and I had to sit and kick dope and I had a $200 a day habit, Lisa. You, you have no fucking idea. I was, I was, I was going to die. I was on death's doorstep. I had just died two days before. And I had to go and kick alone in a place that 
only accepted people with no money in nasty motherfuckers everywhere. But I had to do it because I was going to die. You're, you're pretty close there. You're pretty close. And if it wasn't for your father, you'd be on the streets. Bitch, but, I'll, even, I'll even drive up there and take you and tell you everything that's going to be in front of you. Right now. It's, you can do it. You can do it. It's it, everybody. There are people here who have done it. It's hard. It sucks. Mm. Do the work. You know how fucking proud you will be of yourself and how everybody keeps talking about your redemption story and they say that to you. Oh, and they kiss your ass about it. This could be the start of it. And I'm telling you, will, are you going to do it? Okay, one question, though. So, listen, if... <laughs> yeah, I love okay. you. <laughs> say, okay, yeah. say she does come or my sister comes or whatever and I go, right? What happens if they don't have a place for me, though? And then, like, what happens tomorrow morning when I need my dose? Like, what did they say what they would do by chance? If you go to that, that, that place in downtown, you know the yeah. address. If yeah. you go to that place downtown, they're not going to refuse you dosing. They'll probably have transportation, and they're not going to let you out of the site. So they would take me to my clinic. Yeah, I mean, and you can ask them that before you even walk. That's the what I'm trying. Yeah, so uh, that's yeah, the yeah. one question I have. That's it. Even if even like that, no, you're going to start kicking, and as soon as you start kicking, they know you're going to walk out the door. So they're not going to let it happen, Lisa. And, Go. and it's yeah, and, and that even that other facility, the one that I told you that you had to go through your caseworker, you have to have an open CYS case. If you yeah. would have gotten one of them apartments and filled out an application, they would take you to dose every morning. And your son could have moved into that apartment with you. It's got they got what two, three, two, five, six apartments. And you're their own single apartments, but it's a program. They would take you to meetings. They got this van. They take you to meetings. They take you to your doctor's appointments. Your kid goes to school from there. You can get a job. They take you to dose. You could have had that all lined up. I mean, yeah, there, have to phone call. there has to be something that even facilities that don't have the methadone, like Bowling Green, like... I was telling Kim, like, even if they give the facility 30 days bottles while I'm there and the facility holds them and, you know, distributes them every morning or something, there has to be some way for this to work, right? There is. Tech just said she would drive you to one of these places that is not going to let you start kicking. Are you going to go? Yeah, I would go as long as, like, I know what's happening with that. That's it. That's the only question I have is I, that I don't have to pay because I can't. And the methadone. That's it. The two things. That's it. Okay. Let me ask you this now. Real quick. What, what, what is your fear of this methadone? Um, early. The only explanation I have for it is early on, you know, probably like the first year I was on it. My mom actually was the one who would take me. And um, they were closed only on Sunday, right? And her tire blew on the way Saturday. So I was sick Saturday and then Sunday because I couldn't go back till Monday. And I remember just how sick and draining it was. And I've been scared to death ever since then and have made sure my ass got there. Rain, sleet, snow, that didn't matter. Okay, you know the you facilities, they're not going to let you go. They're not going to let you be sick. There is, there's, mm -hmm. They medically help you get through all that. Okay. You know what, Lisa? It was 14 years ago, the last time I went through withdrawal, the last time I kicked, and like, and I don't remember what it feels like now. Yeah. I know that it sucks. I, I know that it sucks, but right. I don't remember what it feels like. And you know why? Because it, it, it ends. Just like right. anything else that sucks, it, it'll be over. But you're not going to. These places are not going to let you do that. I, I got to yeah. drop. I got to go to work. But get the help, Kim. Lisa, get the help. It, it, everybody's right here trying to help you you tech just said she'd take you these places won't let you kick because if you do we all know you're just gonna walk out the door because nope. I, and you know what i don't even blame you for that because i know how fucking hard it is but get the help fuck you kim you're trash i gotta go most place most places promote suboxone um you know they it, and other mat medications so yeah. In a sense, what I'm hearing is is another excuse, okay? And I, and I get it. I, look, I've been there. Um, I, I'm, I, you know, 
the fear of the unknown, the unknown, the fear of all this shit that you're going to have to deal with because your life is utterly unmanageable right now. Is it or is it not? Oh, it's 100% unmanageable. Okay, well, you think that's going to get better? No, no, I don't at all. I know it isn't going to get any better. Okay, well, I mean, I, I'll get a, I, what time you dose in the morning? I'll be up there right afterwards, and we'll go take a ride over to Cynthia's. About eight, we usually leave. And if you can, I'm down. All right, well. I mean, if you can, you know what I mean? You promise not to block her after this conversation? Because I'm going to tell you, Lisa, I don't know if you remember, because it's three years ago, that sat on a live with tech, Samantha Nowhere, and a whole field panel on TikTok, and we went round and round for five hours. And tech talked you through every single thing you needed to do, and you said, yes, 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 yes. She had your number, you had her number, and then the following day, we all woke up, we were so excited, we thought you were committed. And the next day, you woke up and you blocked her. Can you promise us you won't block her this time? No. If, not. if she blocked me and I ride up there, it's not going to be a wasted trip. I will go spend the afternoon with my lovely sponsor. Love that. Who saves you. lives every day. Um, I'm lucky. Can I ask you another thing, Lisa? You came on earlier. I've been listening to you all afternoon with Kim. And the whole point you said of getting on Discord and doing the phone calls was to talk about rehab options, how to get it to work, your insurance, and all the other crap that goes along with it, and how Kim was helping you, and blah, blah, blah. You have tech right here, right now, telling you she will drive up in the morning and literally walk you across the threshold into it to get you there. But then you just said you can't commit to that. So a few hours ago, it was all you're going to go into rehab, but now yet it's put in front of you with a, literally on a platter with a bow with someone willing to do it with you to go in person and help you, but you can't commit to that. And that's why people don't believe you. Did, I'm sorry, did I say I can't commit to that? Did I say that? Yeah. When I asked you yeah. if... After all this, I told you three years ago, literally the summer three years ago, I sat on a live with you for almost six hours all night. Yeah. We had so many people and you were talking with tech. You had each other's phone numbers. You were working it all out and then you blocked her. So well, here we are again. And you just said a few hours ago, you're ready. You're mentally ready. You're sick of the life. You're ready to go. You said Kim was helping you. You're doing all the insurance, all the phone calls. We get tech up here. She tells you she will be there in the morning, literally walk you through the threshold. And you said the first thing I asked you, if you could not promise not to block her, and you said you can't promise that. That's what I don't understand. If you're really ready, you won't block her. You'll let her come to you. You'll let her help you. Kim's not going to drive up there for you, Lisa. And I'm sorry to say, but Kim is not your friend. She records your phone calls. She posts them online. The real friend doesn't do it. I know you said earlier that friends can go back and forth. But that's, yeah. in my book, that's not a real friend. I mean, that one was a little rough. I'll give you that. But no, I mean, That's a lot of rough. That really crosses a how are you supposed to trust her ever again kind of thing. That's just me. I'm older. But if a friend ever did that to me, <laughs> literally taped my phone calls and then posted them online, I don't think I'd ever trust them again. You are I mean, a grown woman and you have family. And I know, I know you've had outs with your family, but you, you all drop 
what she's doing and come and take you. I know in your heart you know that. Yeah. No, I know. She would. Okay. Tech is. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't even know that was you talking. I couldn't see the screen. I'm sorry, Teresa. When you was talking before, I'm sorry. I didn't even Dude, I literally, I literally was gonna be a smart ass and be like jail, <laughs> but fucking so glad I didn't. Say. No, no, I was just gonna be a smart ass. Oh, right. Hard horror for. No, no, absolutely not. No, 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 no. Well, it, yeah, and even if you put all that aside, you know, things that go on can catch up at any moment, right? So, you know, yeah. Yeah. Right. I right. know. Yeah, people are going to give up. hundred percent. Lisa, can you invite Tack back up? She apparently got dropped but didn't mean to, so she I needs to be re-invited back in. don't know how to do that, but Kim did say she was requesting, and I said let her up. Kim, are you there? Okay, she got her. Thank you. Where'd she go? You? But I also have to say something to you while you're waiting for Tech to come back. Oh, there she is. I'll let her go. There you are, yeah. knocking Good. I'm just, I'm listening right now. Good. Go ahead. Go ahead. Can I We're take me? I'm listening. sorry. I'm waiting for Tech to talk. Yeah. Go ahead. Talk. I'm here. I'm listening. No, I'm okay, just sorry. saying, go ahead, scapegoat. Sorry. I know you've been yeah, waiting. Ahead, it, it's fine, Buttercup. Minute. I can wait. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I kind of wanted to say I took a little bit of offense to the way Kim just came at Tech and then tried to say she thought it was because um, she thought it was Carmen. I think anybody that's trying to help Lisa that is not Kim, she's going to have a problem with. She's probably messaging her behind the scenes right now. Um Saying, you know, like, blah, blah, blah. Like, here's my thing. You say you're such a good friend to her, right? Um, and you got her best interest at heart, but yet you keep her continuously high because it keeps you high. Um, you can't tell me you ain't getting nothing out of it, honey, because an addict don't do nothing selflessly when they're in active addiction. And um, you, like, you, you've even went as far as fucking screenshotting fake money to drug deals, drug dealers while she's sitting there. We've heard that. We've heard that. And you got the best interest for her? I, I don't think you really do. And I think you need treatment, Kim. I really do. Because you're just, you're a piece of shit, dude. Lisa, I remember it was about a year ago, year and a half ago, mm -hmm. um, somebody, um, I, I don't, I, I, I don't uh, really tell anybody when you and I talk. You know, you right. and I haven't had a really long talk in a while. That one day we sat up for two hours and talked. Mm -hmm. And then find out you were talking to um, Queen, um, Queen of Trades. Mm -hmm. We both gave you pretty much the same, um, the same suggestions. And then, you know, we was a little disappointed because five minutes later you did the complete opposite. Um, mm -hmm. I know you have trust issues. Um, I know, um, I know, um, <sighs> you know, trusting the ones that are down or out on the street with us, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, with the girl that just said what she said, um, 
people in addiction don't do shit for nothing. No, I, and you know I trust you, though, because like I said a million times, we've, you know, had talked, me and you, um, and then, you know, the shit hasn't got out there. So, you know. That's that. because I was eventually hoping that you would eventually call and say, look, I'm ready. I'm, I'm sick and tired of doing this same shit. Because here's me. Shit, you might as well go out and suck a dick. It'll be quicker. You know what I mean? And that's what's next. You're going to be out there hitting licks because you're not getting it on TikTok. Is that, you know, it, th th these are the, th this is the path that you're on. Do you want me to continue on down the path and tell you what else you got in store for you? No, because I'm not, I don't want to continue on it. Like, I, I don't know in here. Oh, it, it ain't oh. fucking pretty. I don't, you know, I get so desperate. I don't want to get to any lower point. No, you're going to get lower. Oh, it is way lower it, to go, for it's sure. It's going to get lower. It, it can definitely get lower, and I don't want it to. Well. I, you know, everybody says, what's going to be Lisa's bottom? What's going to be Lisa's bottom? Lisa, we, 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 you're, you're in your bottom right now. Mm -hmm. uh, when, I, when I first started watching you, you were pretty much like knee deep. You were knee deep. And then yeah. I watched your chest deep. And now I'm barely seeing the top of your fucking head. And I cry for you someday. That um, the the video that um, Penny Fairy did literally cried because um, so many similarities with you and I. <laughs> but um, what video? I didn't see the video. Should I check it out? It's just it was just a, it was a it was a nice it was a nice a, a sad video. Nothing ignorant, but just yeah, uh, respectable. I don't see too many respectable videos that I share with you. There's only been two. I'll, but anyway, I'll, I'll talk. Um, I lost my train of thought. Sorry, I, just want, I don't really watch myself on TikTok. As, I don't know if you know that, but I do not go on TikTok unless I'm on there going live for obvious reasons, I'm sure. You know, who wants to, you know, see that crap? A lot themselves and know it's true, you know. Maybe you should. Maybe you should go take a look. Maybe you should go take a look. Go do go do a deep dive on yourself. Go take a look at that shit and uh, yeah. Go take a look at it. Go search yourself and go look at a bunch of fucking videos. Go watch yourself. Maybe that'll be the eye opener you have. And you know what bums me out? I think the most. And this is gonna be. This is not. I, I it hurt your feelings. I, I don't. I, you know, your son hated you being on TikTok. Hated you being on TikTok. And guess where yes, you still are? You're still on TikTok. I know. And he said that to me months ago. He said, you're still going live. And guess what? You're the, you're the demons that are on you, on you right now. Do you think that it wants you to listen to me or it wants you to keep listening to Kim? You think what hold does she have over you? Literally, why do you put so much of your situation into someone like Kim? And I'm not trying to, well, maybe I am, but why, why are you involving her in any of your rehab stuff when you know you have people like Tech and your own family out there willing to help you at the drop of a dime? Why are you asking her for help? Um, you, did you sign over medical stuff for her to look into? N no. I... I think she was just trying to convey, like she said, like if I don't answer the call, don't go through, that they can call her to get in touch with me. So you put her as your emergency contact? Yeah, her and like my mom. My mom's cell phone. Okay, so make this make fucking sense. You were just pissed off about the videos or the, the shit that got put out there or that was private. You know, I could even get through the first, I couldn't, I didn't listen to them. I, I started to listen to the one and couldn't listen to it. It triggered the fuck out of me. Not to use, but it just triggered my own trauma. Some of my old shit. But, um, how, how could you entrust that to her? Literally. And to be part of some of your grips. Um, the, honestly, like, speaking honestly, that was, like, the first time... I think she's ever, like, broken my trust. And I'm no angel. I've done things to her. Um, but that was 
honestly the first time. I mean, when Abby had the baby, she was the first person I told, and she didn't tell nobody. Like, little things, like, same with you, Tech. Like, I just, I have trust in her. You know what I mean? And... Is she is she is she from your area? Do you guys ever meet in person? No, not yet. So you 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 and and you and her did a lot of you know with the cash apps and the Venmos. She helped you out on all that shit. Yeah, and and you gave and you she got her little de her little deal out of it. Uh, no, I don't see an angle. Oh, come on, there's I, an I, angle there. Come on, please. All right. Well, there's honestly not one that I know of. I, I haven't been able to figure it out if there is one. I really don't. She had the gossip thoughts, which was double my page when she met me. She had, you know, she takes no money that I know of. Um, I don't know the angle. If so there is she one. made fake cash app things to show your drug deal and you don't think she's not doing the same thing to you? How would I be doing the Come same on. thing to her? Showing her fake money to give it to her? So I'm taking um, personally, her money out of my bank account. Let me ask you a question. You, you, Kim, you said verbatim. She's never been a friend to you. She never calls you to see how you're doing. You went off. You said she's never, ever been a friend to you. You called her cracky, crackhead, everything. You played all the videos. So why are you still friends with her? Because we're friends, and friends go th go through fights, and that's what, just what, what happens. She what was online you? blackmailing me and um, extorting me. That's the only thing I had was to show people that I actually give her money, and I don't take her money. So what, what makes you and her friends? We've been friends for a while now. TikTok friends on TikTok. No, we actually sit on the phone almost all day and talk. What, what you talk about? You talk about like um, real life shit. Real yeah. life. Shit? Everything. I mean, honestly, everything. Like earlier, we were. I was sharing my screen. We were FaceTiming and we were watching. Um, We've my, been on the phone no, together body, uh, literally since. 8.30 this morning, and it's 11 p.m. Well, Lisa, I'll be hey, Lisa. honest. This reminds me of the Q&As that you do. Yep. So it's going to, we're back, and we're, you, you, you have a vicious cycle. Um, we, in the ones that have been tuned in for a while, know your cycle and pretty much read you like a book. And that's, um, I feel sorry for the ones that give you money because they don't know no better, but, um, I'm going to make sure um, I, I will, if, if I'm going to make it a, a mission to educate people on enabling, I'm not going to do no awareness on no specific person. But I'm going to let you know, because some people, I don't even believe that they even realize that they are enabling. No, there are people that think they're helping more than hurting. And I do, too. At the moment, I may think different later, right? Yeah, well, when you're... When you're I think what, what, people fail to realize are the people that are donating are, like, people that have supported her from the very beginning. And they're actually regular supporters. And they your support voice, your her voice irritates the fuck out of me. I swear it does, man. I gotta pray for you. Man, do I gotta pray I'm just for telling every you day, that every the people that donate you, are regular supporters and they you, donate bro. often. It's not yeah. just different people all the time. No, that's very true. It's a lot of the same. So just because I say that, I irritate the fuck out of you? Like, I'm just I telling you the fact. the fuck out of me. Yes, I did. I'll say it again. I'm going to say it over again. That it's doesn't irritated. bother me. I'm just telling you That's the fact. That's my opinion. I'm sharing the my people opinion. that donate have been donating from the very beginning, and it's been the same people. And you're a broken fucking record. Lisa, can, yes. can you stay here for a second with me? Um, so, hey, Tech, it's Krista. 
Um, when I said that I, Tech and I, we've had our beefs. Um, we still aren't really besties, but Who I don't come. Um, I'm Krista. Hey, honey. Um, I don't come from the the addiction side of everything. I come from the banking side. Okay. Okay. Um, but if I was ever an addict, I can go ahead and tell you, Tech would be the first one that I called because she's about the only one that I would trust to do what she says she's going to do. I, I do. And I've said that. Coming, yeah. I hope you do. I really do. Because what I want to say to you is, Teresa, I think it was Teresa was up here earlier asking you, um, jail or rehab. Okay. Mm -hmm. Earlier today when I was in here, I heard somebody ask about the cash apps and um, Kim got in an argument with him about, you know, it wasn't against the law, whatever, whatever. So let me shed light on a few things real quick. When you have either a people making cash apps for you to send money to your account, that is embezzlement. Okay. When you make constant cash apps because you can't, what's the word I'm looking for here? Hold on. Uh, you can't verify the person's name that you're putting the cash app in. You have to continuously make them because you get, I believe it's two days to verify everything and then it, they shut it down. There was never a time that we used a cash app that I wasn't able to verify. So the cash apps that we used was in my name, Dan's name. Or my name. Or her Why? name. Why? Why? Because you thought Dan was hungry? Did I do that? Yeah, because so you thought why he was did hungry? I not use other people's names? I didn't use other people's names because I didn't want to get arrested. Why would I do that? I'm not stupid. Yeah, my, okay. my my question is, why would you why would you assist her in gaining more cash? What would Because she want? asked me to. Oh well you're a really good okay. friend. Okay, so when we asked you to jump off the bridge, would you jump off a bridge? I mean, come no, on, you knew what the money was buying her. You kept making cash. I do it, and yet okay, you knew so, what it so, was for. So we'll move past the making of the cash out names. Okay, um, when you saw the nine hundred and thousand messages about that by deception, mm -hmm. I promise you that is a real thing. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um. When people have recordings of you saying, I need money for this, I need money for that, I need money for whatever, and they can prove that you didn't use the money for that, that is theft by deception. And when I promise you, via internet, it is a federal offense, not a state offense. It, I'm not lying, okay? And I just want you to be aware because you are literally rehab or jail. And you if you've ever heard the people that join the military so that they don't get put in jail or they go into rehab so that it looks better when they go to court, I, I would choose the rehab route because you don't okay. want federal prison. Well, it's you do realize, you do realize that I do need to eat and I do smoke cigarettes, right? Mm -hmm. So, I do. Every penny does not go everywhere people think it goes. And it's not every penny. I'm not saying that you didn't use money for eating and, and smokes and all that stuff. You have to. You have to eat. However, you've been asked numerous times what happened with the money for Shadow. That's what I'm talking about. Instances like that, and there's more than just that one. Those are the ones that are going to come back and bite you in the ass, Lisa. And I'm with everybody else. As much as I hate to say this, yes, I want to see you get Jace back and have your life back. You could, the amount of money that you have fucking gotten in the how many years, dude, you could own your house by now. You could own cars. You could have all kinds of shit. I and mean, it's I not too late to do that. Situation. You just got to. Buckle your ass down and do what the fuck you got to do, Lisa. And you know what you have to do. You know it. And yeah, it's scary. I, I would assume I've never been an addict. I can only imagine what it's like for any of you. And anybody who's in recovery, fucking you all are awesome. Because I can't even stop fucking smoking cigarettes. Much less a regular drug. I'd be fucked. 
But yeah. take Tech's offer and do. She's got it set up for you, honey. And and like I said, she's the only one I would fucking trust. And her and I don't even. I mean, we're. I, I've had to say my apologies to Tech. I'll put it that way. But she is still the one that I would fucking go to. Yeah, so take she, her up on it. Okay. She, take because her up she, on it. she says the absolute truth, whether it hurts your feelings or not. And, exactly. You know, you got to respect it. You do. And you do. And, and every time, yeah. listen, Kim, every time you helped her with a cash app or some kind of thing, it was in a, sen in a, in a, in a sense, it was like you were loading the gun. Think of it that way. Anytime you assist, and, and, and I get you got to eat, Lisa. You know what I was saying in my live one day? You got to go hungry, I guess. Go figure it the fuck out. Yeah. Is basically what I was telling people. Why are people so quick to throw fucking money? Why are you so quick to throw money? The money is going to fix the issue. Has money fixed your issue? No. Has, has, has money hurt you? Yeah, I mean, the whole thing has done me no favors. So. But keep, keep, your, keep kudos. Keep, keep doing what you're doing because it, it's, it's not working. Or do something fucking different. And it ain't just me. It ain't just me. It's a whole team up in Pittsburgh. I, and the main one, Cynthia. Cynthia has it all, everything. You, you, you talk to her, right? Mm -hmm. you know, she knows her shit. Yeah, absolutely she does. And she, I, I trust that she is the strongest woman that I know. And um, she can move mountains. If you're willing to put up the fucking, uh, if you're willing to go the, go, if you're willing to take them steps. She ain't gonna, we ain't gonna chase you. Because we know, yeah. you know. Yeah, there's no point. You know that. Yeah. Right yeah. I'm going to drop down, Lisa, but take... I'm sorry. Take tech up on her, her offer, please. Because you, just for Jace, you and Jace, that's the only people. Do it for yourself and do it for your son, okay? Yes, ma'am. I text her. Hi. So. I, look, here, here's me. I'm not yelling at you. I'm not trying to get rude with you. I'm fucking rude with your disease right now. I can't stand the fucking disease. It's taken too many fucking people that I know. Yeah, it's it's rough. I sponsored a girl on this app. She didn't want to listen. She didn't want to stay away from the app. She kept on getting stuck, stuff and and stuck. And then and then you know our conversation would consist of TikTok stuff. And every time you and I talked, what did I try to do? Steer us away from TikTok shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like get the fuck away from it. We got we got to focus on this. The focus needs to be over here. Do you mm -hmm. know that girl's gone? Do you know she's gone? She was calling me every single day for two months. Was doing good. Then I think she wasn't. You know, um, but uh, two days I missed her phone call. I'm like, where's she at? I ain't heard from her in two days. On the third day, I found out she had been gone for three days. Sorry to hear that. So, um, choice is yours. But once you pick up, you don't have a choice no more. So, yeah. I miss my Tara. I do. She was a spitfire, man. But she had demons. Demons. Them demons are fucking strong, man. I said earlier today, if you go from re if you go from the street to rehab, man, kudos to you. I don't know too many people that have gone. Most of the people that I know, like me, I went from from jail to rehab hospital to rehab not too many are able to get themselves out of the out, out off the street in the rehab yeah it's it's hard because like you said you keep you want to do it but you keep kind of pushing it yeah yeah you don't want to face none of the fucking reality you don't when you know me for me i, I never lived without it i didn't know how to face life without the rugs yeah. They were my comfort. They were my lover. It was my pimp. I did whatever the fuck it told me to do. It makes you lie and deceive and con and manipulate. 
And that's going to continue. Know, oh, sorry, Tech. No, no, the problem no, is, a... I've heard this, you know, I know I've been in lies with you, Tech, but Lisa, no one's going to believe you until you actually go. It just sounds like the same shit, yeah. different day that we've heard you've been saying for over, it's for four years for me personally, I've listened to you say you're going, you're going, you're going. I've heard all the lies. I've heard you off your entire family for a money grab. I've heard every single lie for a money grab that someone could come up with. The police don't even believe you. Think about that for a minute. The police actually yeah. weren't even going to go to you because they think you're such a liar. And what happens when the day comes and you actually need help and people because you're the boy that cries wolf. That's sad. Hearing on Actual tape of police saying, oh, I'm not going because they know you personally. That's sad. Listen, you I said, Lisa, she it. sat in a box with me and I was going on and on and on. And the next thing I heard, a lighter and a, that's a picture you hitting. She was hitting while she was, you don't lie, because I busted you that day, man. I said, oh my, that was last year. Yes, yeah, even did. Listen, do you and or, do you think the people that have been watching for as long they're gonna, you know, I get shit, I get shit all the time because people say I coddle you and then I'm giving you a free pass. You ain't getting no free pass. No, they don't know. Text the same way behind the scenes as she is on them. You know, it's my choose my ass out. I come with you with genuine care and concern, and then I come to fucking raw, or it, it just depends on like what's the situation is. Yeah, and a variety of it, right. because I do genuinely care about you as for as a human and as a mother, and as um, you know, do I consider us friends? I, you know, once I meet you in person, yeah. But um, Kim is the enabler. Kim does not want. Ken doesn't want to be sick in her addiction alone. So, uh, I'm, reading the chat. I'm reading the chat. So I'm, so I'm, I'm, reading. I'm not in the uh, I just wanted to say real fast, Lisa, that I know uh, that everything they're talking about sounds scary. Sobriety is scary. But I can promise you that first step, the step to get sober and to get clean and to go with tech to a rehab is the scariest part of this. Like, it, it doesn't get scarier after that. Everything after that initial step into rehab is easy. I mean, it's not easy, but it's easier than that initial step to, to get yourself where you know, I think, in your heart of hearts that you need to be. So, so real, quick, I, real quick, real quick, Butterfly Kisses wants to make sure to say, Stop just saying Jace. Jesus Christ, she's got four fucking kids and two are minors and one is going through an addiction on her on and off. Not not just fucking Jace. It's Nicole, Abby, Cole Jr. and Jace. You're right. You're right. You're right. You know, when I first got into... Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Sorry, I couldn't get past that comment. You know, when, when, when I first got in clean, when I did my first lead, I shared that I had three kids because I was, I was ashamed that I had four that I, and I, I said, I stopped, but I'm not being honest. So you're right. You know, um, she does have more kids. So my fault. And that is a hard reality to face, Lisa. You, you got to face it all and get through it. Or end up a fucking statistic. Is there a tech? Do you are you able to get the family in touch with you know people who might be able to offer some family counseling? Because it's not just Lisa who needs help. The whole family, once Lisa makes that step to go to rehab, is going to need to learn how to firmly set boundaries how to stick to those boundaries i know ronnie and jess do a great job of that already but you know it's it's everybody everybody jace and all the other kids abby and you know they're all going to need to learn how to open up to to lisa again so is there anything like that you know of maybe you know that we can offer or that we can get them in touch with 
Well, when she when she goes to rehab, there'll be a vet, vet family. There's like family day. Like a, when I went to my rehab, we had a chair sitting in front of me and we got to face off and they got to tell me their frustrations. And then I get to tell. And then there is that, you know, the learning process, you know, when she's at the facility, um, as far as on their own, um, there, there's fam, there's definitely family therapy. Um, there's, um, NA meetings, there's Al-Anon meetings, um, a great resource to learn about the addict is to go to an NA meeting. But, um, I don't feel like, um, there's a whole, I think there's a lot of enabling and a lot of denial and a lot that we don't know. And, um, as far as the family dynamic and every fine, every family dynamic is different. Like my family, some of them, you know, um, that, well, most of them. Did tough love. They didn't enable me not one fucking bit. Yeah, that's what it was like in my family, too. My mom basically said, no, you're coming home. And I was 25. She was like, you're coming home. I'm going to watch you like a freaking hawk. And luckily, you know, in my case, that was enough for me to, to go back on the straight and narrow. But I know not everybody is that lucky. Um, and, you know, I know the whole topic of, you know, are you going to show up tomorrow, Lisa? Are you going to answer the phone? That She's got to be scared out of her mind. Um, so I just, you know, to me, it was like, it was really important to come up here and let her. Tech, tell her if she isn't going to rehab, you need to make arrangements. Do you have arrangements? Does anybody know what you want done? If something were to happen to you? Do you know I have that all planned out? Do you know that I I even want to I even got my obituary half writ wrote out? And that's something that I didn't think about in addiction. I didn't think about that. Did not. Yeah, well, I I do have a will, but what the, what's the, I don't have anything. So I don't know what you know. They won't have to distribute anything. Yeah. That's whatever, you know, the kids will want to do, I guess, with me. We don't want, and here's the thing, the, the, the thing is, is we don't want your kids to have to plan that. Okay, we, 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 you know, and I heard you earlier, you were, I don't know exactly what was said, but I was, yeah, I was yelling to the phone, um, you know, you, you, um, you you were there, but not that you ha you have been, uh, you know, in your kids' lives, but not you, when you're there. When you, even when you're there, you weren't there. You haven't been there in a long time. And I we there's people out there that want to help you get there. I'm gonna be quiet for a little. Okay. So you're going to go tomorrow, Lisa? Have to take the drive? Real serious. Real talk. You're going to go tomorrow. Yes, ma'am. I've already texted her. You texted text tonight? Mm-hmm. An hour ago. Text. Did you get that text? I know she's there. I see her. You got the text? Yeah. All right. So, Lisa, if you don't go tomorrow, we're not going to see you back down here on Discord tomorrow with some excuses with Kim's going to be the one that has to help you kind of nonsense because Kim doesn't need to be involved with that at all, by the way. You're a grown woman. You have enough people that will really help you get you through the door. You don't need her help on that. No, I mean, I don't need it, but, I mean, she's just, she's just trying to help. You know what I mean? She's just trying to, I guess... One of these days, I'm going to know what the real deal is on that. One of these days, I hope to get to know the real deal on all that. I'm sorry, Lisa, but in my honest opinion, for Al for for cooking for four years, she just wants to be the one person that after all this time of thousands of people that have tried to get you into rehab, she wants to be the one that says, look at me, I did it. I got her in. I kind of think she wants to keep her sick. Yeah, I don't know, something's going on there. Sorry. Their What's home the benefit? Girl. What's the angle? What do you mean? Why? What, what do you mean? Like, what's the angle? It's more of a burden to her if I'm here doing, 
you know, bothering her, calling her, you know, going live, things like that. She's I just, an enabler. She's also told you that she, she doesn't go out in the world. She has no friends in real life. And me personally, I think she singled you out because she wanted to find someone in worse shape to make her feel so, herself feel better. She wait, looked wait. at you as like, oh, yay, I can feel better about myself if I have someone else that's codependent on me, blah, blah, blah. And they need me. They need me. She wants to feel needed because no one else needed her. People in her family have cut her off. So, unfortunately, she actually keeps you from being involved with your own family in some respects. Because you know, and I know you know, Lisa, because I've heard you listen, talk to you for long enough to know that if you call Jess, it could be 2 o'clock in the morning and said, I want to go, I want to go right now, my bags are packed. She would do whatever the frick she could to get you there. And same goes for Tech, because I've seen her say it enough. It's like being a dead horse on how many times I've heard Tech tell you she would come at the drop of a dime. And I know you know it. So you don't okay, need question. him. Has she assisted uh, you more on getting high or assisted you more on getting into rehab? Getting Labor? high. Like the past couple months? Um, no, getting, she's been really pushing the rehab thing. But, like, but also pushing the cash apps and all that, too. While she's sending your drug dealer the money? Come on, Lisa. Listen, you know what that is? That's a reservation. And, uh, it was just like, uh, my girl. I haven't even been making the cash apps since it Shut Up it it did. Did. You loaded that gun up for her. I don't even want to hear. You know what? Your voice. It's been really months since I've like made her cash out. Yeah. You guys don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. I'm yeah, not. Just like you didn't know what the fuck you were talking earlier, telling me that I'm fucking Carmen. Okay, and I'm telling you, I haven't made any of the cash apps. So I can't. Who re re recently? Recently, like the last week. Since oh, shut praise up, the Lord. Eight, eight, nine, you ain't nine. Done in the last week. Thank no, Lord. I have not. Thank you, Kim. I have not made her one since basically shut up 8899 when Victoria started letting her use hers. That's the last Hallelujah. time I made Lisa a cash Hallelujah. App. Hallelujah. Okay, so don't sit here and blame me on the cash app shit lately because it hasn't been lately. me because the cash app. Lately. Let, like, lately. At least I'm taking fucking responsibility for it, Are you, you stupid bitch. Hallelujah. Oh. Uh-oh. Did she drop tech? Yep. Lisa. The why <laughs> Kim wants to control everything. She wants to drop the people that she wants to drop. She'll only let up people she yeah. wants to talk. She's controlling everything in your life right now. Even in your last live, it was all about sending everybody over to discourse, 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 because she wants to control your narrative. It's weird. I don't know how you don't see that, that she wants to have like control over everything you do is just bizarre to me. She wants to be the one that helps you, gets you to rehab. There's so many hundreds, hundreds at this point, Lisa, of people that would literally get in their car and come help you if you said, yes, please. If you literally said, I am outside my parents' house, somebody come take me to rehab right now, I guarantee you 20 strangers would show up and take you. You don't need her to do this. I know you can do this on your own. And you said from hours ago, I want to say maybe 2 o'clock, that the whole reason for this whole Discord thing was because you were ready. You said, I heard you say you from your own mouth, you're sick of being sick, you're sick and tired of the bullshit, you're sick and tired of all of it, and you're ready, that you haven't used in two days, don't know if I believe that, but that you said you're ready. So now you have people come up here tonight, te texted you, and said, let's go tomorrow. So let's go tomorrow. Do it. You've got her. You don't need her to be up live and let Kim control the situation right now. You could say, you know what? I'm going to go talk to Tech tonight. I'm going to get all my ducks in a row. I'm going to get my bags packed, and I'm going to get ready to go. That's all you need to do. You don't need her blessing on this. Did I lose you? No. Can I go? Okay. Can I go? Absolutely. Yes. Okay. So this is what I have to say. Lisa, you are a grown woman. Mm -hmm. You've had children. You've lived your life. In order for you to be successful, 
You're going to have to do it on your own. Your mom can't do it for you. Your dad can't do it for you. And Kim certainly can't do it for you. You need to separate from Kim. Not in a, I'm, I don't mean that in a mean way. But you have to do this for yourself. And Kim, I find you completely hypocritical because now you want to be her protector, her savior, the person who gets her in rehab and all of that. When you are the same person that helped her lie, cheat and scam. So which side of the envelope are you going to be on? Because you answer all of her questions, you don't allow her to speak for herself, you correct her about her own life, but you can't help her get well. She has to make that decision on her own, and she's going to have to work the program. There'll be nobody holding her hand. So why are you doing that now? They're helping her do all of the cheating. Can you answer that? Lisa is a grown woman and she does what she wants to do. She's been live way before me. Yeah, I just said that. I made her a cash app in the beginning when we, when we first met and I let her use my PayPal. Lately, the last couple of days, ever since our friendship has been rocky, I have not let her been using my payment apps. She goes online and she did use a payment app of mine. I made sure my tag was off so no one can find it because I told her specifically that she cannot use it. She's been making her own. Did you hear yourself? You said the last two days. This has been going on for okay, months. Okay, yeah, and I've been trying to get her into a rehab for a while now. She's okay, just so when finally you wanted tapes, it in the last We got week. to hear you. Helping he her finally wanted to start looking the last week. Yeah, like Kim, Sunday. Kim, so you need to watch all the fucking people. That's when I started Listen, trying to you call Rita. You need to stop talking to fucking no, people. No, because if you're going to keep you. asking me questions, no, I'm going to answer. Just what, and I want you to answer. answer. No, okay, no, so I'm trying to. Yes, the last that, couple of days I've been trying to find her a rehab. Hold on, hold on. 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 Hold on, I got it. Hold on. I'm so sorry. That's okay. I, you talk about how you took responsibility. I have never heard you take responsibility. I have never heard you apologize to the people who gave her money under false pretenses. And you helped her do it. And we heard the tapes that you released of the conversations where you were helping her come up with the lies. You were the one, the mod in her chat that was <laughs> blocking the truth, deleting people, banning people from her lives so she could continue to take advantage of people. And this is my thing. Lisa has a disease. I believe that addiction is a disease and she needs to be cured from it. You helped her stay in that state by the things that you did. And I have never heard you apologize. You say, I take accountability, but you have never apologized. You have never said, you know what? This is what I'm going to do to make amends. I'm going to X, Y, and Z. You now want to sit in a seat that makes you look better by saying, I'm the one helping her, blah, blah, blah. Lisa, if Lisa wants to do this, she doesn't need your help. Because she could do this on her own. And she needs to start doing that now because you're not going to be in rehab with her. Her parents are not going to be in rehab with her. Do you understand what I'm saying to you, Lisa? Yeah, no, I, I, I understand that. I you understand. understand that, right? And so for your own benefit, I want you to stand, put your big girl panties on and stand on your own two feet. Because when you come back, I want to see the best Lisa that's ever existed. I want you to do so well that you shock everybody. But you're not going to do it if you have Kim as your handicap. And I'm not saying that she'll keep you in 
your addiction but if you don't learn how to stand on your own too and you always have to rely on somebody else people will disappoint you never rely on somebody else because they could be here today and gone tomorrow so I would appreciate it, Kim, if you would apologize to all the people that you helped her lie, steal, cheat, and scam. To me, that's taking accountability. And then I'd also like for you to step back and let Lisa be the grown woman that she is. Stop answering all of her questions. Stop. You need to clarify for her. You act like you're her protector, but all you did was help her stay in her addiction. That's all I had to say. Thank you very much. Why did you drop tech, Kim? You is um I'm not sure how to unmute people. You still there? Which one? Uh Kim. She's in this one. Oh, yeah. But why did she drop her in the first place? I don't, I, I honestly don't know, um, she probably feels, like, attacked and, like, she's getting blamed for my... Well, she does, she does have a big part in, in keeping you sick, do you not see that? Yeah, no, I mean, but she is trying to help, though, you know what I mean? Like, I, I, I understand I it might not be going that way, but she... In her mind, right, it thinks like I'm helping. You know what I mean? I'm I'm helping her, right? But there's a lot of people you, that by that. helping you do what though, Lisa? She put you in harm's way by sending you a screenshot at a drug dealer's house. We heard you get into a fist fight. We heard it because she released that. And that and, and I'm sorry, I just don't feel that's something that a friend would do. A friend wouldn't record your conversations just because she's mad at you. Throw them out on the internet, and, and she's talking about she's got something on your dad that she's about to put out. She's not a friend. With friends like her, you don't need no enemy. I promise you that. I got a, I got a million friends that I've never recorded a single conversation of. I don't have recorded phone calls either. Um, and, and, I, and I don't think that you do. I, and I really don't think that you do. I think she does. And that's a snake in my opinion. And she's helping keep you sick. And you keep saying, what angle does she have? Lisa, yeah. she's making money for you, honey. Banking. You think she's going to sit back and do something for free all day long? No. And she says that she sends you screenshots of what you get. The same I'm screenshots not making you know. any money off Lisa. I'm actually giving her my own money. Okay, my bad. Whatever. Anyway, so she's going to send you the same screenshots that she sent you. I can dead ass show right? you my bank statement for the last bitch, 30 days up. and Remember, show you how man, much I have for the Lisa. Shut the fuck up. And over Lisa. thousands of dollars. For Lisa and not you, bitch. Shut up. No, because you're sitting here saying that. I steal her money and I make money and I don't. Um, so obviously which, I'm going to correct you. Which, which fucking fake cash app are you going to show, huh? Which one? Show me your bank statements to which you make she a, a fucking 900 of them. them. Do, do you know what? If you cared about it, you would literally have not made one. A single one. You don't give a fuck about nobody but yourself, Kim. This whole spectacle How is making you look good. I not care about anybody but myself? <laughs> this is because you want everybody yeah. to Look at you differently. Everybody. No, I that. don't even give a fuck how She's anyone looks at me. Feet. Actually, I don't care. Then, then what are you doing here? <laughs> exactly what I'm doing here. Do you think I give what a fuck it? how you what? look at me or how you talk to me or what you think about me? No, Obviously. you're up here because I allowed you to be up here. Bitch, you ain't shit, and I swear to God, you ain't shit. See, exactly. You just said because you allowed her to be here. You see, <clears> right there, you just outed yourself. Because you like that power. You like being in control. You like to drop people when they don't say what you want to hear. The no, because if they're going to be came for you. saying lies, then yeah, I'm going to correct them. She's you saying that I'm making bank off these guys. Like I'm not made to die. You I like give the Lisa all my fucking money. Everything. They I give her so much money. Receipts. I've never seen that, though. And why did you play those tapes? Why did you even play those because tapes? Because she was place? online, sitting there blackmailing me and fucking extorting me for money. I was fed up with it. I wanted to show people what she does to me almost on the daily, begging me for money. 
every day if I say no. But why did you tape her in the first place before she blackmailed you? Why did you tape her at all? I started taping her because there was one time she called me and said she had a gun to her head and I didn't have it on tape. So in order for me to see that when she was sitting there telling me these lies that that and the third, I had no way to prove it to anybody. <laughs> then why so stay friends with her at all? Morning. Why stay friends with her at all? Most people, if a friend does that to them, does not through, remain friends. Go, friends go through shit. I don't know. They have their ups and downs. Just because she's lied to me a couple times, I'm not going to stop being her friend. What if you you gave her money and she she got a, a bad and you're healthy? There's two people. I don't know. I said I heard something about what if you gave her money and then something about healthy. Because a real friend would do the hard things to get their friend healthy. Not send their drug dealers money, Kim, or make cash okay, up. And That's not I a real call, friend. All her supporters send her drug dealers money. And it's not it doesn't just matter. Me. You were transferring it to her. If she didn't have a way of getting it, why make the cash up? There was times to use his cash up and you guys sent directly to him. And, and I wasn't even Ronnie the middle man. Made That's Ronnie happened more Ronnie, than five on. times. You keep making them, you keep coming back. I'm she not the one making literally... the cash apps. The cops will realize that when they can trace the IP address. And then all of you guys are going to look fucking stupid. <laughs> we are going to look... Oh. Yeah, you're going to look stupid. Because I'm not going to be arrested for something I'm not making. <gasps> you're going to tell me they can't trace the IP address to where the cash app was made? Because it's not way, it, I don't care me, when you I'm did not or the one did it. Making them. If you actually gave a rat's ass about her, one hundred like I'm not cared about her, you wouldn't be sending drug dealers week. money. I had one set up for her for Monday. She didn't go. I do care. I can't force someone to go to rehab at thirty nine years old. But when she finally wants it. Fuck, yeah, I'm going to make the calls with you. So she said she wanted it today, right? Okay. So you get, you're saying she'll go right yes, now. She go and, then text, and then you drop tech. And then you drop tech. And then you drop tech. Yeah, because I don't need to have her up here if I don't want to. Tech and her. Exactly. Are, talk. This is Lisa about Lisa, not you. This is Lisa about Lisa, not you. Right? Text. This is about Lisa, they can not talk you. Men. Period. They can talk you men. need to go to rehab. Because I'm sorry, you were not so aware this evening when you started this, and you can drop me because you dropped the other person for calling you, you out as well. You can say whatever you want. You don't know shit. You oh, don't know okay. shit about me. I don't know shit about you. I know when you're sober and when you're not. You couldn't you even don't form know a sentence shit earlier. About me. You don't okay. know shit about One me. One thing I do I know is know if nothing. you actually gave a shit about Lisa. Do you have anything to say? It's me, Jules, before I drop you. I'm just going to talk to Lisa. That's Lisa, fine. Yes, you're, Lisa, you're 40 years old. I've got a daughter that's 37. And I've, I've been going through this with her since she was almost 19. And she has four daughters. One of them is 19. What I'm telling you is you're letting so much time get in between you and your kids. Her 19-year-old don't even want to speak to her. Wants nothing to do with her. Her other kids are getting used to life without her. I have put her, taken her, put her in and out, in and out, in and out of rehabs. She goes in, stays a couple days, leaves. Goes in, stays a couple days, leaves. I finally had to cut her off for my grandkids' sake. And for her sake, because I knew if I did not cut her off and quit giving her money when she called me and said she's hungry or when she calls me and says she don't have clothes, I, I always gave, gave, gave. And I finally had to cut her off. I, she went two or three months. I didn't even speak to her. And then I got a call one night from that paramedic in the back of an ambulance telling me my daughter 
is barely hanging on to life where she got took a ride with somebody and she got beat half to death and stabbed in her lungs oh my goodness i didn't even recognize her when i got to the hospital her she, her face her head was almost three times the normal size that's going to happen to you lisa if you don't if you don't open your eyes cuz you walk some dangerous streets out there i agree and just like when you went over there to get to get that get drugs from that apartment over there and you had to bolt out of there they, they could have got you then or the the time she was trying to send you screenshots so you could get your drugs from your, your dope dealer that morning and he was pissed and you was even scared then you're i mean you you have gotten by i'm just telling you 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 got to you got to open your eyes and you can't let nobody make decisions for you. You have to do it for yourself and for your children before you don't have children. The worst thing in the world is to feel like you have a child that wants nothing to do with you. Now, my daughter, I'm proud to say she she took a 12 month program and she she graduates the day before Thanksgiving. And she's finally had got yeah. to have contact with her kids. They finally want to start having something to do with her because they see her trying. Yeah, she's not out on the streets still getting drugs and 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 conning people. She just was just like you. That's why I started watching you because you reminded me of her. And I, I I know if you don't if you don't change your ways, Lisa, you're either going to end up dead or in jail for a long time. No, I, I agree, and I'm glad that she's doing better. Um, and and th think about what you're putting your parents through. That you know they they'll tell you they love you and they help, but you're breaking their heart, and they're getting older. The, I'm the, I'm probably their age. It's yeah, it's like they're sixty. You, you put your parents through hell, and and it's so hurtful. And when they're gone, you're gonna wish to God that you could have took every bit of that back, and you won't be able to. Hey, you're right. I've been putting everybody I come in contact with through hell. Exactly. Everybody. If you don't, if you don't do something, you'll start doing something. Then it. There's going to come a time you ain't going to be able to do nothing. I've been, I've been watching you for a while, and I just want to say that. Go on, Simon. If you don't get help, that I. This is probably sounding like a broken record here, but if you do not get help, you're seriously going to end up dead within the next few months or something. Can y'all hear her? Can y'all hear me? Very. I heard, oh, I heard my, like very low. My Discord is like mm -hmm. really bad. I'm using my headphones. Um, my bad. Can y'all hear me now? I can. Okay. Yeah. Um, I've been watching on and off with you for a while and I feel like the way of saying without sounding too bitchy um I feel like that you're kind of you're in a way guilt tripping us because we know that you need help but at the same time um you're kind of giving excuses as to why you're asking for help financially we can't help you financially it is we're it, we're already struggling enough as it is, so you can't feed your addiction anymore. And you need to you need to you need to work on getting help for yourself. If that makes sense to anybody, it did anybody else catch most of that? I, I'm. I might have to. Use it. I didn't hear. I Just, didn't uh, hear a lot me, of it either, and I don't. I might have to switch over. I might have to switch over. To I can hear you, phone. baby, but you're like very like low, mumbly. I can't explain it. It sounds like like you're underwater talking to us or something. It's bizarre. Let me let me switch over to my phone because I could probably hear you. Could probably hear me a lot better on there. Give me a sec.
And Kim, what I, what I was trying to say to you earlier, wh what would you do if you gave her money and she went out and bought something and got a bad batch of drugs and it took her life? I don't know if she's in here or doing something. Let me see what is going on. Hey, Lisa, I got a question for you. Are you on the other line with Kim? Oh, Lisa. Are we all on pause again? I, I think we are. I know she's on the phone with Kim. Yeah, it, I don't. It don't. I don't think it matters what anybody says. She it's it's just going to be up to her to. It's been there, done that. Yeah, cause, you know what? I've I've went, I've dealt with this for you. I don't think there's anything that I haven't seen. I, it it's, through it all. Yeah, years oh. of I'm going. I'm get. I'm going to get sober. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do. It, and it just. And, and chill. It, it took her almost losing her life to do it. You cannot do this unless you want to do it. But I got a question, Lisa. Lisa, can you, can you mute? Lisa, I've been watching you for the last month and a half, and I I, I I feel for you, but Some there's there's things that you can do like suboxone and whatnot that will help you out and make it easy so you don't have withdrawals. And uh, it's way better than like methadone or anything like that. Methadone is not really a good withdrawal situation. Can, ask you, can you have some respect? We were all waiting in line. I apologize. Thank you. We're waiting for Lisa. She's on the other line with Kim. I do think Kim is responsible for a lot of this. Lisa's responsible for it. No, well, she she's Stop an it. addict. Stop she's an addict, it. so you can't blame an addict oh, when no, she... when you have somebody feeding her money. I mean, she is responsible, but at the same time, this girl is feeding her money and drugs and okay. making money off of her. Yeah, she gets half of her cash out. Yeah, she's not she's not giving her all of her money. She's she's keeping a lot of it for herself. Her and her boyfriend. Absolutely. I don't know what your so, name is. Did uh did you hear the video of when um Kim's husband came in there and she he was pissed over the money and he had to shut their cash app off? Yeah. Why would you see I just wonder what her what her hundred her, her husband thinks. They're going to be responsible uh, yeah. for the IRS. That's that's the that's the funny well, part. Yeah, that that's a whole other thing that I found out about today, and it ain't my place to get into the drama. But her boyfriend and his job, they'll find out next week. Did it's you not guys? My place. Did you guys hear me when I came back the last time and said sorry? I'm back. My mic got jammed up or something. Is no. When no. I called him, and then I was talking to Gregster. 
Uh, okay. So you guys didn't I'm hear it. Sorry. All right. Kim, question. This is your Discord. You approve Kim controlling your Discord and kicking tech out of the server. This my Discord. I can kick whoever the fuck I want out of it. A question. But should it be Lisa's Discord? Because this is all about yeah. Oh, it's my Discord. I made it. It's mine. But we Lisa make one for you, Lisa. Lisa, whose Discord is it, Lisa? We know it's yeah. yours, but should I it be Lisa's? Then. Yeah, she built this. I don't know anything about this card. She literally built this all like by herself and did whatever. I don't know anything about it. And stuff like to do this right here. But the question is, do you approve of kicking tech out? No, I texted her about it behind the scenes already. Tech texted me, I text Ken, we're handling that privately. I didn't, uh, yeah, I already got the text and we're handling that. I didn't know that it was the whole server. Lisa, the only thing we can say to you is you got to take control of your life and stop allowing somebody else to dictate what is happening in your life down to who can even speak. And when Kim doesn't like what somebody's got to say, she kicks you out of the, dis the Discord or mutes you. Do you not see the controlling and manipulation that's going on? No, maybe I'm stupid because I... You're not it's stupid. It's your server. You're not stupid. I beg to differ. I see Wouldn't a totally different like, angle to this inside of her. You know what I mean? Um, like, wouldn't it be fair to say that they're both controlling and manipulating each other? Because, like, yeah. I get totally. it. Kim is Kim has got her own issues to work on, but Lisa is no saint. Like, absolutely. And I heard earlier that guy say, like, we can't blame an addict. Yes, we can. Yeah, like, that's what I like. We're all addicts, and we have all been blamed for things and held over the fire for say for whatever. And Kim, so in so so addiction too. So if that's the angle, then you can't be blamed either, right? I just, like, I understand I that a lot of people are upset with Kim. I really do get that. But I think that, oh, um, oh. you know, like, I yelling. I, 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 it's like Lisa and Kim are as close as that they say that they are and that it, it appears for them to be what, for whatever reason, I don't think attacking Kim is going to get Lisa where she should be in no. rehab. Right. I agree. I agree too. And she's not used to as much hate as I've been used to it for as long. And, um, you know, I try to intervene as much as I can because it should be directed at me, you know? And um, nobody should be attacking anybody, period. Whether we right. disagree or not, I have respect. I don't care if you're sleeping under a bridge, smoking dope, blah, blah, blah. You are still somebody's mother. You are still somebody's child. I guess I just have a different compassion because addiction runs in my family. I've been through it all. Like, I just have a different sense of compassion for people. No, I think I'm the same way. I've been sober for 20 years, and I, like, I, I have very low bullshit tolerance for addicts. It's like, mm, been there, done that. Like, I don't really... Yeah, but you should understand... The, the, you should understand, like, if somebody's an addict, like, where they're coming from. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, under, I understand that, absolutely. But I also, like, it, I don't know. Uh, I, I don't know. Like, if I can do it, anybody can do it. Anybody can do it. I, I, I agree. I did it, too. But at the same time, it's, like, different for everybody. Like, it's not, it's, you know, if somebody's in a, a doesn't have a lot to look forward to or doesn't have you know lost our children this it, doesn't, it doesn't matter if they they're, if they feel lost that and they don't feel like they have anything that it's it's hard i don't support them doing drugs but at the same time you i understand like addiction is a disease and 
you know, the, everybody's different. So you have to like give them grace and like let them go through their battle. Yeah, right. Well, and I, I understand that. Why do we do? Why do we do drugs? Right, because we are hurting. So we right. start um, to numb. Then other things happen that we start doing more drugs to numb that that happened, and then on and on and on. Right. So everybody who does it and enjoys it for whatever reason they are numbing trauma and pain or grief or something right that's what it absolutely. does absolutely absolutely my biggest and then, concern for you lisa is what is your rock bottom that's what i'm scared for you what is your rock bottom i i don't want i'm that's what i was scared of here uh, and, Ma and mama t do you know who mama t is death, you guys no. do you know who mama t is mama t yes She's very popular on TikTok. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know who you're talking about. Yes, she, yes. She prayed for you recently on her page. And Isn't that's how I found you. I for a video she posted? I'm sorry, one more time. Didn't she get, like, ousted because of something she said a week ago? She just was cussing about this guy that was, like, trying to, like, bring her down. And he, she did nothing oh. wrong. Her son was murdered in Mobile, Alabama. And yeah. she's Can we ask a... one question and drop, please, instead of having this multiple conversation? Yes. Sure. Okay. What do you got to say? Well, I'm, I was waiting yeah. for other people because they were up here longer than me, but I'm just saying... Like, all these people are up here, and I'm sure more people want to come in. So instead of, like, constantly going back and forth, we can ask a question, say what we want to say, and then drop. Well, I, don't, I want to ask one last question, and then you can drop me. Kim, have you, have you thought about going to rehab? Is that something that you want to do? No. No? I didn't hear her. I didn't either. I mean, I, I can she, tell. She, she, I didn't know she was she on drugs. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes, she is. Well, most addicts are on drugs. That's what they say. I was just wanting to know if she ever, if she ever thought, thought about going or wanted to go. I don't, I don't want to answer for her, you know, but from our conversations... She does not. She's how does she have thousands of dollars to give you if she's also on drugs? That doesn't make any sense. Like, no, I know a lot of addicts give... that have a lot of money. That's not quite accurate. Does I mean, she even work? Not all addicts. No. So how is she like that? Clearly says that she's getting money from your from uh, your content. Well, no, no. Um, she has a significant other that works and makes decent money from what I understand. So she uses her, all that her husband to pay for her drugs. Okay. Yeah, mm. I don't think he's going to be a proven of all this. Okay. Well, I wish you luck, Lisa. I'll drop out so that other people can ask your que their questions. Okay, right, thank you, Greg, sir. For yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. All right, have a good night. You too. Bye. Lisa, I just want to know, know how come you just, if you're ready, just surrender. Who cares what everybody else thinks on TikTok? Just go. You don't owe anybody an explanation. No, I. I can agree with that, you know, um, but I said earlier in the other call, you know, I said, I do feel though that I do kind of owe, you know, the people that, you know, have supported me, you know, especially over the past six months, you know, or helped her with anything, like some kind of explanation of what's going on, you know what I mean, without asking for anything and without, you know, just some, some kind of 
you know what I mean? Just not disappearing, right? And I'm just like not never knowing what happened. Donors, if they're regular donors and they know where the money's going, then they're not people who deserve any explanation anyways. If they're giving you money regularly knowing, if they've watched you long enough to know what you're doing and they're still sending you money regularly, then they are not the type of people that you owe any explanation to because they're not here for your best interest. They're just going to help you feed your addiction rather than helping you. Right. And once you get a clear mind, Lisa, you will have a whole different outlook on what type of people you want to surround yourself with. And the people that are continuously enabling you, you are not going to want those people around you. Period. They're not healthy. Yeah, I mean, I can respect, like I said, that opinion inside of it, you know, but I, you know, even like with my parents, right, I got two totally opposite, you know, my dad, you don't get shit past them, right, been there, done that, calls all my bullshit out ever since I was a teenager, right, knows it all, my mom never did a drug in her life, smoked a cigarette, don't know anything about it, and you can slide everything past her, you know, it's too... And she's the type that she thinks she's helping, very empathetic, right? Um, so it's two totally different, you know, I've seen, it's, 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 I don't know, it depends on the person and their experiences. And She probably puts blinders on like I did for years. My you mom, know it's there, brother, but you don't want to see it. My brother could be completely not out on the couch and my mom's like oh sweetheart are you tired <clears throat> i just want to say um one thing and then i'm also going to drop down uh your response lisa to the question about like why don't you just go like drop everything and go that is an excuse in my mm -hmm. opinion which to me like it, it just to me you're not ready you're you're not uh, you're not gonna go and, and that's okay for you to say and for you to admit that because I think people would enjoy a little bit of honesty. Um, but it, it's when you're done making excuses, when you're done saying, well, I have a following that I need to update them or my supporters who have done this or people who have done this, like, to me, you would just go. Because the only thing that matters are those kids. The only thing that matters is is showing them that you can be everything that right now they think you can't be. Like, so I I truly hope, truly hope I'm wrong. I wish nothing but the best for you, but you've got to stop making excuses. You've got to stop saying, oh, well, I'll, it's this or it's this or it's this, that these are the reasons. Like, if you wanted to go, you would just go. Right. All right. Who is next? I think Ford. Ford, you've been up here longer than me. Can't wait for Lisa to come back. I feel like, and correct me if I'm wrong. Um. What is it any of y'all business what how much money Kim got or if her man's okay with her spending it? Just just a question. Oh, Kim supporter. All right. No answer? No answer at all? Yeah, that's because it's none of anybody's business. What was the question? The whole purpose Kim is here is because of her actions enabling Lisa all this time. Mm -hmm. And so it is, while it's no, none, nobody's business what her husband makes, but if it's an addict assisting another addict, then mm -hmm. there's not ever going to be any change there. She won't get better, basically. Wait, was the question? Did someone ask me a question? No, it
Well, I guess Lisa just had enough for the day, and she can't handle anymore, so she just dropped. Um, this right. um, well, oh, I just, I last thing, Kim, this is a big-ass power trip for you. You have dropped two people genuinely trying to help Lisa just because they disrespected you, and you were sitting here the whole time saying, I don't care what people say about me. Bullshit. Bullshit. You yeah, kicked yeah. out two people genuinely trying to fucking help this lady. And you were just because you were offended. Just because you were offended <laughs> yeah, about what they were saying to you. And you're sitting here and the whole time saying, like, oh, I don't care what they say about me. Yeah, you fucking do. Yes, you fucking do. You may be dead inside and you may not care what people fucking say about you or like act like you fucking do, but you don't, but you do. You don't <laughs> want this lady to get better. You do not. You have helped her. You have helped her get photoshopped images for drug dealers to send to them. What are you doing? What the fuck are you doing with this lady? She's putting the shit There's into her body. There's a difference between being offended and then having someone come up no, 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 and no, no, no. tell me no, you, all that I am offended. offended. You, you don't even have people. Okay, but she, sure, she was mission. lying. I can't defend myself when somebody's sitting here telling people shit that isn't true. It's not going to be people out that are trying to save this woman's life. I've already said when I've made the cash app and what cash apps for mine. Kim, you can say all day it long. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You are on the tail end of this her. sending drug dealers straight up money knowing what the fuck she's doing. You I are the one that's like, oh, you strung me along. You know what the fuck she's doing? You can you tell Lisa all day long, you go to rehab, go to rehab, and as long as you are sending her money, and, and as long as you are enabling the behavior, you're you not, are not her friend. Her. You are not so, but I don't get half of the money. About this woman's life. Like, straight opinions, straight opinions. No, I can literally show you my bank account. I give her, like, money every single day out of you're my money. You're, you're killing her. You're killing her. I take a cut of her money. She I mean, gives you her what her. you get. You are you? giving her nothing by letting that her. That could make her a addiction. piece of shit. I don't give a fuck. I give All her money. And if you don't care about rehab, Lisa. but then here's some crack, Lisa. What the fuck? Are you if serious? You